What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released the RC or release candidate build of iOS 17 to both registered developers and to public beta testers right after the big Wonderlust event where we saw the iPhone 15 and the new Apple watches unveiled. Which special shout out to everybody who was in my live stream earlier today, you guys made it awesome. But anyways, along with this release, we also got the RC of iPadOS 17, watchOS 10, macOS Sonoma, tvOS 17, HomePod pod os 17 airpods the 6.0 update studio display 17 and also firmware updates to the siri remotes and then if you're on ios 16 we saw the rc build of ios and ipad os 16.7 mac os 13.6 and mac os 12.7 but of course we're talking all about ios and ipad os 17 in this video so first off you'll notice that the size is large over six gigabytes which is normal that's what it's like every time we go from a beta to a final version which is what this is just for beta testers and vice versa so it's always going to be large like that so let's go ahead and check out the new build number for this update the new build number is 21a329 and if we go back and check out the modem firmware that is 2.08.02 all right so now what's new here in the rc build of ios 17 and first off if you want to get the iphone 15 and iphone 15 pro official wallpapers i will leave those linked down in the description below i'm rocking this one right here from the 15 pro but anyways let's take a look at some of the changes and the first one comes inside of the home application if you look up top in the top right we have a new section there that says grid forecast and it shows that my grid is currently less clean now if we tap on that we get some additional options in here and some information so this of course is what apple was really focusing on at the event today they were talking about carbon emissions and their carbon footprint lowering so it shows that my grid forecast right now is going to be less clean up until around midnight and it shows that green right there in this graph to show when I'm going to have you know clean energy and it shows right here when you use electricity matters and it gives you some you know basic instructions on what this means and if you tap right here it gives you even more information about the grid forecast where you can learn more about it and then we do also have this button right here where we can turn on or off notifications for grid notifications or grid forecasts rather. So it says get notified when electricity becomes cleaner again. So I will have that notification tonight around midnight and I will share what that notification looks like of course in my big iOS 17 video coming up. Now also new in iOS 17, we have some changes in the camera. So if you go into settings and then go down to the camera settings and I have iOS 17 beta eight over here on the left. So if we go into the formats section and then under photo capture, we have some changes right here, right off the bat. So so before it said pro raw or just apple pro raw now it says pro raw and resolution control and then under that it used to say pro raw resolution now it just says pro default and the verbiage underneath has changed as well and if we go into this section we have a change here as well so we have the heif max which is 48 megapixels, but it's in the HEIF format, so it takes up less space. And then we have Pro Raw and Pro Raw Max. So now Apple has a marketing term for Pro Raw. They now have Pro Raw and Pro Raw Max, which of course Pro Max is going to be the 48 megapixel version of shooting in Pro Raw. And if we go into the camera application, you will see that we have that icon up in the top right. And if we turn that on and then haptic press into it, we can change that setting on the fly in here. So if we want it to be Raw 12, we can do that. Tap and hold again and we can change it to raw max or heif max straight from the camera app we also have a lot of changes in the sounds and haptic section and settings so first off you will notice that before it said ringtone and alert volume now it just says ringtone and alerts and then under that we now have haptics whereas before we only had change with buttons and when you go into there you now have the option a whole section for haptics if you want them to always play or just play in silent mode don't play in silent mode or never play before they were way down here so you can see we had a section at the bottom for them and then system haptics were down here at the bottom as well but now we have a cleaner section for that where it says system sounds and haptics and you have everything bunched together so it's much cleaner now but easily the biggest change here is that we have new ringtones and new text tones for the first time in forever so first off it used to say sounds and haptic patterns now it just doesn't say anything it's more clean and if we go into ringtones for example i'll let you hear some of the new ringtones so here are all of the new ringtones in ios 17.
But it doesn't end there because we also have new text tones. So here's what those sound like. And by the way, this rebound tone, that will be the new default for third-party applications. And we also have the new watch faces in the watch application. So Modular Ultra is the new watch face for the Apple Watch Ultra 2. And then we also have the Nike Globe over there. So both of those look pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on my Apple Watch Ultra first generation. It looks pretty awesome. Also today, Apple announced new iCloud storage options. So a new six terabyte and a new 12 terabyte option for iCloud Plus members. However, those are not live as of now. They're probably going to go live when the new iPhones release. And also when the new iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max release, this will be what the action glyph icon in settings will look like. On iPad OS 17, there's a new silent mode toggle under sounds. And I'm sure there are even more features and changes in the RC build of iOS 17 that I will discover as time goes on. And of course, I'm going to cover everything new in iOS 17 in my big what's new video, which is coming on Monday. There are over 300 new features and changes in iOS 17. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, taking a look at the release notes for this RC version, you can see a lot of these are kind of older bug fixes and some of these resolved issues are older, but you can take a look at the release notes for the RC build right here. And if you have the AirPods, whether that be the AirPods 3, the AirPods Pro 1 or 2, or the AirPods Max, you can see that we do have a new version for all of them. So version 6A300, and there's also a version 6A301. So you can see that 6A300 is for the AirPods Pro 2, and that adds the adaptive audio, conversation awareness, and personalized volume updates. And then for the other firmware updates, you get the mute button if, where you can press to mute on the AirPods 3, AirPods Pro, and AirPods Max, along with significant improvements to the automatic switching experience for all AirPods across Apple devices. Now, I did go ahead and run a Geekbench score as well, so the performance feels about the same as Beta 8, and the Geekbench scores were about the same as well. So we scored only one point higher on the single core at 2637, and the multi-core is slightly lower than what we saw on Beta 8 at 6728. However, the scores are very close to what we saw in beta 8 so I would expect about the same performance that we saw last week and then when it comes to the battery life I wouldn't really expect any major improvements with the RC build it's possible but I think that if we were to see any you know noticeable battery improvements that's most likely going to come in like a 17.1 or 17.2 update somewhere around there but anyways let's move on to what to expect next because next week on September 18th is when we will see iOS 17 released to the general public. So Apple put this on their website that 918 is the official launch day for iOS 17. And also macOS Sonoma is coming on the 26th. So about a week and a day after the release of iOS 17. So we have that to look forward to. Now also next week after iOS 17 releases, we should see iOS 17 beta one get pushed out for developers the very next day on Tuesday the 19th, exactly a week from today. Now, of course it could come any day next week, but my bet is on the 19th right there. And that could potentially include that journal app that we've all been waiting on. And then of course we have the iPhone 15 and the Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra launching next week as well on September 22nd. So a lot of content coming on the channel. So make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned for all of that. And of course, all my software videos will come out next week as well early in the week. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe again so you don't miss all of the coverage coming very, very soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.